All right, so due to the coronavirus situation, we have to do the rabbit dissection virtually um, from my craft room. So I am dissecting on my craft table right now. So in the background, you might hear my 16-year-old daughter complaining about the smell as she sprays Febreze in her room. So be thankful that we don't have smell-o-vision and you don't have to smell this from the comfort of your own home. So I have posted a lab document that's going to have all of these muscles that are going to be pinned for you to refer to. So hopefully you can go back through the video as I point through these different muscles and talk to the, about them for a few minutes so you get a better idea of what we would have done had classes been um, going according to plan. So the first muscle that I'm going to show you is going to be the muscle right up here, um, right on the cheek. This really large muscle here is called your masseter. The masseter is actually the muscle that's going to be involved in most of your chewing. So if you were to clench your teeth um, really tightly together right now, that muscle that you're going to feel on either side of your cheek is actually going to be the masseter. So when we get into the digestive system and you start looking at the PowerPoints and the information on the digestive system, you're going to see that one of the big things involved in mechanical digestion is going to be mastication. Uh, mastication is just a fancy word for chewing. And this muscle right here, the masseter, is one of the primary muscles that you're going to use in chewing or mechanically digesting the food as it enters your mouth. Now if we move down a little bit, we're going to see this triangular shaped muscle right here. I'll try to get my probe up under it here a little bit. This muscle here, this triangular shaped muscle here, these are your pectoral muscles. This is the pectoralis group. The pectoralis group is divided up into two muscles. We're not going to worry about the names of those two muscles. Um, they are the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor, but for testing purposes, um, just be familiar with the name pectoralis. Um, you can see right here at this little division right there, that natural separation right there, this is the pectoralis major on top, and this is the pectoralis minor that actually runs up under it. Um, but we only have to worry about knowing it as the pectoralis group. This muscle, one of the things you'll notice as I move the arm of this rabbit, is you'll notice that as the arm and shoulder elevate, that muscle is the one that's going to be working. So your chest muscles are going to help you to elevate your arm and your shoulder. Now another one that's going to be involved in your arm movement is this muscle right here. And I want you to notice he looks like um, fingers that are kind of coming out and separating. And in fact, you can actually take your probe and you can actually separate those little fingers there. This muscle here is called the serratus ventralis. Um, you may also see it as the serratus anterior. And this muscle group does pretty much the same thing that the pectoralis does. It helps to move and elevate your shoulder blade and your arm. Okay. Now, covering that serratus ventralis is this very large muscle right here. And this very large muscle that you see as I've pulled it back here, it's almost like it looks like a Superman cape right here. This muscle here is called the latissimus dorsi and it does run all the way up under your armpit and all the way down here to almost to where your abdomen is. Now it does the same thing as the pectoralis muscle and as the serratus ventralis. The latissimus dorsi here is also going to be involved in the movement of your shoulder. Now down on the belly the last muscle on this view here of the rabbit is this muscle here, and I've peeled this first muscle off. Um, there's actually several muscles here. We're going to be looking at just one of those superficial muscles. And that superficial muscle on the abdomen is the external oblique. These are what you would think of as being your core muscles, 
And if you're doing any kind of core strengthening exercises like Pilates or yoga, um, you're tightening up these core muscles here. And this is the first one. Um, this is the external oblique. And I want you to notice the direction that the fibers are running. So my probe, these fibers, you'll follow my probe here. The muscle fibers kind of run down toward the midline of the body. Here's the midline of the body here. You can see that the muscle fibers are running down. Now the interesting thing about your core muscles is that if I peel this back, you can see your next core muscle. And for testing purposes, we're not going to uh, have to know him, but I do want to point out the arrangement of these muscle fibers. And so here you can see that the muscle fibers are now running upwards. They're mourning this angle here. Okay. Um, there's a third muscle that's beneath this internal oblique and you can kind of see where the internal oblique kind of is right here. And I could peel this back if we were actually going to be learning this particular muscle. If I peel that one back, I have another one back there that's called your transverse abdominus and the muscle fibers actually run parallel to the midline. So these muscles are arranged, their muscle fibers are arranged in kind of oblique patterns to kind of hold everybody in. And another interesting muscle that you have running right up here, this is called your rectus abdominis. Um, this one is actually going to be involved in uh, when you have a six pack abs, these are the muscles that you're actually going to be strengthening. And they all work to kind of hold everything in and kind of give your body stability. But the one for the test that you have to know is this one here. And this muscle here is the external oblique. Now I'm going to turn my rabbit around and we're going to look at the muscles of the arm. Just a couple of muscles of the arm here. Okay. Now, here on the arm, his little ears in the way here, the muscle of the arm, the only one that you're responsible for is this one here. Okay. This one here is one of your three triceps. Okay, so there are three triceps. Uh, for our purposes, we're only going to have to know this one. So this is your triceps muscles. Um, this is actually one that um, Oprah would call